You're watching the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel. Spring tornado season is here and our team at Tennessee Valley Weather is dedicated to keeping you safe and keeping you informed. So let's go over some severe weather and tornado safety information. It is crucial to know where you live and to be able to find yourself on a map in case a warning is issued. It's also helpful to know the areas and counties west, south and southwest of your locations as storms typically move from west to east or southwest to northeast in this area. These are our 14 viewing areas area counties that we service in southern middle Tennessee, northwest Alabama, and northeast Mississippi. So if you live in any of these counties, we do cover you in the event of severe weather. We will be live with coverage with any sort of warnings issued in these 14 counties. It is crucial to be prepared to stay weather aware, know the forecast ahead of time, know your safety plan that gives you a higher chance of executing it flawlessly if it is needed. It's also crucial to be up to date with your insurance and have important documents protected in some sort of waterproof sleeve. It is crucial to have a plan. Like I said, if you have a plan ahead of time, it is going to be a lot easier to execute it when you need to have a way to get reliable weather warnings. NOAA Weather Radio is a fantastic way to do so, as well as our free app. You can get any sort of watches and warnings, and you can watch our live severe weather coverage on the app as well. Know your safe place. If you have a warning issued in your location, know where you are going to seek shelter, not only in your home, in your workplace, or any location that you frequent often, like a church or a school. Helmets are lifesavers, so it's important to have those with you when you do seek shelter during a tornado warning. And if you live in a mobile home, or if you know anybody who does live in a mobile home, it's important that they leave those structures ahead of time and go to a more sturdy structure or a community storm shelter, ideally once a watch is issued in that event. In terms of tornado safety specifically, a basement is going to be the most ideal place somewhere underground, like a dedicated storm shelter or a certified safe room. That's not where you have to be though in order to survive a tornado. If you are just on a lowest level of a building, a small interior room as close to the center of the building, so think of it like this, as many walls between you and the outside as possible and away from windows, you can certainly survive a tornado seeking shelter in a small interior room. Also important to protect your head from flying debris. Again, that's where helmets come in. Leave vehicles and mobile homes. I cannot stress that enough. Head to a sturdy structure even going into a ditch is going to be better than being in a vehicle in the path of a tornado. Now, in terms of shelter options, the best place you are going to want to be is a dedicated tornado shelter or a certified safe room. A great option as well, a basement or a small interior room of a lowest level room of a well-built structure. Now it's getting into the place where you're gonna to wanna to have a secondary location. If you are in a large open room or manufactured housing, vehicles, mobile homes, under a bridge or overpass, you definitely do not want to seek shelter in any of those locations. You're going to want to leave ahead of time and be in a more sturdy structure in the event of any sort of tornado warning. In terms of preparedness, again, know your safe place and as well as know your emergency contacts. If your phone dies or you get separated from your phone, it's important to know those numbers from memory. Have multiple ways to receive warnings. I went over that already. Again, prepare protective gear as well as an emergency kit. I'll get to that here in a moment. Have a way to alert first responders. So whistle is a great idea for that. A flashlight will also be handy and take pictures of your belongings and valuable. So here are some great things that you should put in your emergency kit. An air horn or a whistle. If you are buried under debris, that is going to be one of the only ways that first responders will be able to hear you. Extra batteries for whatever you may need that for, especially for a weather radio, boots or some sort of footwear you will certainly need that. A cell phone or some sort of communication device, a first aid kit, flashlight, some sort of food to sustain yourself as well as water, a helmet, weather radio, all great things. And if you have any pets, I suggest leashes, a little bit of food and water for the pets as well. Now, going into the difference between watches and warnings for both tornado or severe thunderstorm. A watch is 
almost always going to be issued before any sort of warnings. A watch means that conditions are favorable or all the ingredients are there for severe weather or tornadoes during the time period of the watch. So this is the time to be prepared and be ready to take action if you are in some sort of a mobile or manufactured home though. This is the time when a watch is issued that I would head to a more sturdy structure to ride out this threat. A warning means that severe weather is ongoing or has been spotted by a train spotter or detected by Doppler radar. So a watch means to still be prepared and be paying attention for a warning to be issued. A warning means that it is currently ongoing or about to be ongoing in your locations. And we have five different severe weather risks levels that we monitor from the Storm Prediction Center. Of course, we go level one through level five, level one being the least significant and level five being the most significant. So that's just a way to understand the threats that we communicate in a little bit more of an in-depth way. So some good information to know there as well. Always important, again, to stay informed. You can scan this QR code if you're watching on a mobile device. You can take a screenshot of this, then go to your Photos app. A link will pop up, and you can download our free Tennessee Valley Weather app. That's courtesy of your local neighborhood Quick Mart. Again, you can get watch and warning informations on our app. You can watch our live coverage as well as our regularly scheduled weather updates. And a NOAA weather radio is also a fantastic option to have in the event of even an overnight threat. Or if your phone battery dies, your NOAA weather radio will report any sort of warnings in your area. So again, it's crucial to be prepared in severe weather season, especially here living in the south. Hopefully these tips helped you to be more prepared this severe weather season.